today me my brother or okay so pretty much what is going on is the pigskin classic and uh my brother this badass is playing in it and uh we're playing we're playing against antonian um my friends my friends all of, like my a bunch of my friends and okay michaela's michaela's going too and uh and <laughs> yeah so we're going to the alamo dome we're gonna be playing he's gonna be playing in the alamo dome i'm in the drum line so i'm gonna be playing in the alamo dome well i've already played in the alamo dome for basketball because i'm better okay 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 what? So yeah, my brother is gonna be playing in the Pigskin Classic. Right now, we're gonna be going to school so they can drive us to KSAT something, and we're gonna be on TV. So that's a that's fun, George. And then we're gonna go back to the school, and then we're gonna eat food, and then we're gonna we're gonna yeah we're gonna eat Chick Fil A, and then and then we're gonna go to the dome. The game starts at seven, so here we go. It right now is. 8-12, so, yay. We're stopping at a gas station. Oh, it's dirty, but uh, we're gonna get some drinks, and my dad got us tacos. <laughs> I'm going to the band hall right now, and then I think we're gonna practice for a little bit. I don't know if I can record the practice, like, just so I can show you what we play and stuff. It's kind of the same stuff we, like, every band plays, so I'm pretty sure you know it. Like, it's just, it's kind of the same stuff. Heading over to the case set right now, and everyone's just like very excited. Hopefully, we get there in time. I don't know what time we're supposed to be there. <laughs> it is so big. Whoa! <gasps> Look, I see the field. I see the field. Oh my god! It's so exciting. It's so exciting. It is. I'm telling you, we're on the 50-yard line, and yes, all ahead of the KSAT Pigskin Classic. Yes, indeed, and I'll tell you one thing, the spirit is very high here because we've got the Holy Cross cheerleaders. <laughs> today but also tonight yes and also we want to see your school spirit yep they've got spirit how about you maybe some of those old pictures maybe you're pulling your letter jacket out of the closet from black and white photos something like that you know <laughs> along with all the football teams and the cheerleaders 
you can't forget about the band. Yes, we are previewing seven bands that will be performing at the halftime. Yep, and you're going to see all of that. It is just going to be absolutely wonderful. Also, it's a very special day today because you get to meet one of the newest members of the Tay Sad family. Yes, it has been a very exciting week for us this year. 130 left in Texas. Chick-fil-A I've ever had. It's so good. I'm not even done yet. So we're back at the Alamo Dome right now. Like, we're here again. <laughs> we're here again. I have one. Anyway, so we're here right now and we're gonna get dropped off again. opportunity in this country to have religious freedom and the opportunity to have a Christian school safe, protect them, be with their parents and coaches and teachers and all of those who provide for them. Help this to be a game of enjoyment and an opportunity to grow closer in faith with each other. We ask you this in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen.
were talking about defensively, offensively, right now Antonio's just clicking in every level. And I got to agree, that was should have been called a penalty there. That would have been a good break for Holy Cross, kind of get some momentum. Third down and long. They're going to try the reverse. Domino Gomez has some room, and he breaks the tackle with the first down and hits the sideline. Marco Gomez down the sideline. What a play call as he takes it to the house. The whole energy just changed. The entire energy. What a great block downfield. And then how did he stay in bounds? I agree with you wholeheartedly. Right down the gut. Gibby Alvarado drops back. They set up the middle screen. Beautiful play. is caught. And on to the end zone goes Nick Hall. He got it. Big kick return. And then he finishes the drive with a touchdown reception. Lopez is the running back. Got to hurry. With Alvarado. Five seconds. Gibby Alvarado sprint right. Throws it up. And it is caught with a two-point conversion by Marco Gomez. And the Holy Cross Knights are fighting back. It's 27 to 13, or 27 14 now, with 4.32 to go in the second. You're watching the KSAT Big Skin Classic, presented by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers on KSAT 12. Defender got part of it. Yeah, he did tip it to him. But he almost got it a second time. RJ, you, you see him going for it on fourth down here? Uh, on your penalty, replay, third down. Alec. Yeah, Dre Carr can't tackle this. Watch this Drake hit. Carr, you're right. Woo. Sophomore offensive lineman. That was a big hit down yeah. there on the sidelines. That the icons of Holy Cross. Yes, indeed. A teacher who became a doctor and a principal and helped keep the lights on at Holy Cross over the decades. Our Mia Montgomery has more. It's been a great ride for me. <laughs> Oh, I'm enjoying it. Brother Stanley Kulata may be the first name that comes up when you ask someone about Holy Cross of San Antonio. Holy Cross started in 1957 as a boys-only high school, an institution to serve Catholic, college, preparatory education on the city's west side. Brother Stanley arrived as a first-year teacher in 1958, but during his time as an educator, he saw the community lacked another need medical services. And I said, well, I'll try that, you know, try medical school. I had to take some uh, pre-med courses. So I went to St. Edward University in Austin. Fortunately, I got accepted here to the Health Science Center. Brother Stanley received his medical degree in 1978 and opened Holy Cross Family Medical Center not far from the high school. He also served as the chief of staff at Santa Rosa Hospital for two years. I enjoyed the time overall. Of course, I, family practice is like general practice. You see uh, everybody, little ones, the old ones. You know. But I really got to like the, working with the senior citizens. The Knights became co-ed in 2005 and expanded their grade levels to middle school. At the center of it all has been Brother Stanley, finding ways to keep the doors open through some very tough times. It's part of his legacy at Holy Cross. I, I believe we were meant to be here. It's, it's a, a team effort. It's not the one person. And uh, the people responded. Brother Stanley started as a teacher, became a medical doctor, a principal, and eventually president of Holy Cross. Even though he retired in 2016, he still lives on campus in the brother's residency. But don't let this 87-year-old fool you. He is still fighting for what he believes is best for the future of private education, school choice. It costs money to have good education. Money can save you or it can strangle you. Lack of it can strangle you. So I'm not sure to make that argument any stronger than that. Well, next week, Holy Cross will play their first ever game out of state when they face Holy Cross of New Orleans in New Louisiana, which just happens to be where Brother Stanley graduated from back in 1954. Wow. There you see the Holy Cross blow up breakthrough as the Knights will come out, try to make a run here in the second half. Welcome back to the Alamo Dome. Let's take a quick glance at... And fit that ball through the eye of a needle. And Toscano knows that if they don't turn over the ball, they're in much better shape than if he takes a risk and turns it over. Pistol set again. The throw. Pumps and then fires it up the right side. Has a man. Drops 
a dime in there for a first down. What a throw and an over-the-shoulder grab for the first down by Amir McClain. Okay, look on this play, like, at the end. Okay, ready? He, like, the defense, not the, I don't even know. But, like, he, like, holds on to his leg and keeps pulling his leg. And he couldn't, and Mia couldn't get up. I was like, what the heck? Fourth and goal. Gibby. Touchdown. Gibby Alvarado. He was stood up, but he kept driving his legs. He took a shot right at the goal line. But you're right, Bobby. Kept turning those legs and was able to punch it in. And the Holy Cross Knights... Extra point here. Do you go for two, guys, or do you... I mean, if you go for two, it's a touch. Yeah, it seemed that way. Fourth down. They're setting up the screen. It is caught, but no work. Well, did he get there? No. Big hit on the sideline as Prouty made the catch. And the Knights have held. Well, that's a big deal right there. Look at the pressure. They let him through trying to set up the screen. And 94, I think that was 94. And then just a dump job right there, man. Just picked him up, dumped him down. And